Growing girls want and need a wide range of experiences, both active and passive play. Daisy Girl Scouts learn by doing, so include plenty of hands-on activities that build skills and lay the foundation for future growth. It's a good idea to familiarize yourself with some quick activities to use when girls' interest in planned activities flag, or when they finish them ahead of schedule. Grab ideas from the Guide for Daisy Girl Scout Leaders and the many other resources available for this age level. Don't forget safety-wise. It covers everything from the basics of the Girl Scout program to guidelines for specific activities. Daisy Girl Scouts have their very own activity book. It's filled with fun, creative, and educational activities they can do independently or with minimal assistance. Or click into the GSUSA website for timely tips and helpful hints. And don't hesitate to call on the Girl Scout Council volunteers and staff. They're there to help you succeed with practical advice, support, or a word or two of inspiration. Also, your volunteer troop committee is there to help in planning and carrying out troop activities and for the group's financial support. Daisy Girl Scouts should not be involved in money-earning projects, but your troop committee's connections in the community may secure a sponsor to underwrite the cost of troop activities. Right, girls, there's a lot of different things on the table. Do you see all these neat things on the table? Yeah. Okay, well, today we're going to be scientists. Yeah. Hands-on program activities are not only fun, but important learning opportunities. First, we're going to make some predictions about what we think might happen in our experiments today. Does anyone know what a prediction is? No. no. Well, a prediction is a guess. And today, we're going to guess what we think might happen with some of these things on the table. All right, let's see how these things roll. Well, what do we have? Oh, tomatoes. look at the tomatoes. They go pretty fast, well, huh? You're right. This well, goes pretty fast. Don't, don't push Which it. Just let it roll mean? on its own. Does a banana roll? No way. Let's look at these things real good. We're going to just try and see which things stick better. So just hold the magnet over the different objects. Huh? You want to put the duck in? Yeah. Is it going to float? It don't float. It's going to float. You're right. Naturally, not all girls may share the group's enthusiasm, and some may have difficulty completing an activity successfully. That's the signal to adapt it or turn to alternative ideas that preserve the spirit of the activity. Gabrielle, you've done the water experiment? Yeah. Melanie, you've done the water experiment? Okay, then go with Kristen and Leah. And you're going to do a special experiment. Kristen, you're going to need an egg, salt, and you're going to need very hot water. OK? OK, let's stick the egg in the water and see what happens. So right to the bottom. OK, let's try to fish it out. Right, that looks get really big. It does. Let's see if we can get it out. All right. That's small again. Yeah, it is. All right, now, Jennifer, you pour the salt in there. Let's see what happens. I'm going to sink to the bottom, okay? Let's put the egg in now and see what happens. Cool. As much as possible, allow the girls to do the activity by themselves. When a girl is having difficulty, there's an understandable urge to take over. Instead, watch how Miss Joyce helps her girls succeed. Oh, okay. Well, you know what, Heather? Let's try Take your magnet and let's hold it up to different objects and see what it'll stick to. Well, is that sticking? Okay, try a few other things. I think the hardest thing is to let girls do things for themselves. It takes a lot of restraint and a lot of patience on my part. But when they finally follow through, you see this incredible look of accomplishment on their faces. And you know, in holding yourself back, you're really pushing them forward. Okay. You're a great scientist. This was fabulous. Good. Good work, girls. I think now, though, since we've exercised our minds, why don't we exercise our bodies? You want to do that? All right. We're going to go over with Kristen. Kristen, would you like to do a little exercise with the girls? Sure. OK, Kristen, ready? we're ready. OK. Make strong bodies by moving around. Make strong bodies by moving around. Stretch arms and legs by touching the ground. Stretch arms and legs by touching the ground. If you have too much energy, 
jump up and down. If you have so much energy, jump up and down. If you need more energy, make a sound. If you need more energy, make a sound. Okay, girls, I think you've worked up an appetite. Uh -huh. Haley and Heather are on snack, so come on over and give me a hand. Snack time, a chance for everyone to relax and socialize. And don't hesitate to ask families for help in supplying snacks. Encouraging family involvement of all kinds not only lightens your load, it also enriches your girls' experience in Girl Scouting. The best advice I could give a new Girl Scout leader is to be prepared. If you put in the time to plan activities and set up materials in advance, to get families involved, to make sure there's a snack, and to get organized, it's going to make your meetings far more enjoyable and successful. Okay, where are my cleanup girls? Yay! Okay, Caitlin. Gabrielle? By rotating cleanup responsibility, your girls will see it as a necessary job and not a punishment. Just be sure to allow adequate time, especially if an activity has been messy. Okay. Girls, today we're going to take an alphabet hike. And what we're going to do is we're going to look around this room for things that begin with different letters. Okay? And we're going to start with the letter A. So who can find something that begins with A? Go ahead, you can look around. Good job, Gabriella. Good for you. This is Red Delicious Granny's Mess. Red Delicious and Granny's Mess. That's very good. That's excellent. Thank you, Melody. Ashley, someone found someone's name. Good job. Okay. Okay, girls, who can find something with the letter B? Let's look for B. And we got a ball. Okay. Great. Good job. Good job! Okay. Fun is what five and six year old girls are all about. But there will be those not so fun times where you will need to intervene. Sign is up. Come on. For instance, the girls who are trying to get a bit more attention by misbehaving. Do you give them the attention or deny it and wait for them to stop on their own? Or what do you do with the sometimes too shy girl who is reluctant to join in an activity? Watch how Miss Joyce handles it. You know your girls best, so only you can decide what you need to do and when. But whatever your intervention, your girls will respect you for being firm, positive, kind, and consistent. A comforting farewell ritual strengthens the bonds the girls are forming. It sends them off feeling good about themselves, Girl Scouting, and you. Today, our Daisy Girl Scouts gather in a friendship circle and pass along the friendship squeeze. It's time to go home, so goodbye, Daisy Girl Scouts. Goodbye, Miss Joyce. Goodbye, Kristen. Goodbye, Miss Mary. The meeting is over, but so much is just beginning. Feelings, skills, and ideas that will stay with your girls throughout their lives. Not bad for an hour or so spent in the company of girls growing strong.